Hi, welcome to 2016 First Robotics Kickoff. We have Bare Metal Glorious Leader Adam. And we need to ask you, are you excited about this year's game? I am very. Um, I believe it's going to be a space game. I mean, it starts Stronghold starts with the letter S, so I'm very excited. Space game confirmed. Back to you, Nate. Bare Metal. All right, we can just cut there. We have here Tyler and Mason, Bare Metal veterans. Based on your prior experience, what do you think the rules of this competition will be? Dude, I'm hyped. Uh, it's going to be hockey, guaranteed. 100% hockey. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they're going to do it somehow. They're going to do it. If I learned anything, EMP and black powder is not going to be allowed. Do you guys still think it'll be a space game? Always a space game. It's, it has to be a space game. There's nothing else to choose. Are you sure it can't be a water game? I'm actually thinking it's a space water combo. Yeah, it has to be. Or at least they'll probably add fire. Alex Gibbs! Oh! Oh, they lied! A Google car is driving across the bridge that way, and the Tesla car is driving across the bridge that way. We just found out. Stronghold. And guess what one of the game pieces are? Moats. And do you know what that means? Say it with me. Water game confirmed. What's your name? I'm Randy. Randy! Well, Stronghold. First impressions. Seems like a combination of several games we've already done. Already, like with pieces and everything. So it's going to be exciting. Uh, do you have an idea of what your team is going to use with those pieces? No idea yet. No idea. So, kickoff 2016. First robotics competition, Stronghold. What are your first impressions? Well, I like the competition so far. It's uh, a little complicated, but I th think we can handle it. Seems handleable. Do you think any of the game pieces will be a challenge for your team? I think uh, a lot of the obstacles might be hard to get over, but we have ideas already to come up uh, overcome those. You need to zoom out. FRC 2016 Stronghold, how do you feel? I think it's very interesting and I'm very glad bumpers are back. <laughs> this is going to be quite a head-to-head -head challenge. Do you think your team's up for it? I, th I think we can do it. There's going to be a lot of difficulty in like designing the drive base and such to uh, be able to get over all these very interesting and unique obstacles, but uh, I, think, I think we're up to it. What obstacle do you think your team will have the hardest time with? I don't know. There's a few that seem very interesting where when you move off of them, they come back to the original position, like the thing that you have to lift up, making sure it doesn't fall down on your robot. Also, the um, I think the most difficult looks like the um, two uneven bridges that sort of, that, uh, you have to push one down, drive over them, and then they come back. That'll be a very interesting obstacle to get over. Are you going to rely on alliances, or are you going to go solo with your team? <laughs> uh, from experience, it's always best to rely on reliances, but not too heavily. You always want to make sure you have a strong robot and you can score points. But um, according, as in the last few games, we saw even in Worlds, where it was, uh, the team that won was the team that was able to use all the uh, alliances and uh, throughout the entire competition. Uh, being king of this group is uh, is is amazing. This is a this is a community of, of very strong individuals and, and a, but really gracious and professional uh, folks and uh, I couldn't be prouder. Nate, what, what do you think we should ask the king? What kind of robots do you think the students will come up with? Well, you know, this year's challenge is really looking interesting and really actually quite hard. Um, it incorporates a lot of elements from previous years with hanging and, and uh, catapulting balls. Um, so it, it, it'll be interesting to see how well the students do in, in uh, coming up with appropriate mechanisms given the, the weight and size restrictions that we have. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of experience in doing each one of these mechanisms independently. It'll be interesting to see which teams can pull off doing that in a small footprint and under the weight limit. So I think this is actually a really a big challenge here. There's so many elements to deal with. There's so much rough terrain to deal with. Um, we will be shocked and amazed as always, but I think this is, everybody's in for a tough year. Do you think this challenge may be too much for students, or do you think it's just the right amount of hard? You know, 
first is always set up. All of the games are set up so that uh, teams of various levels can compete well. Um, there's always uh, scoring elements for teams who are maybe not as technologically advanced, and then there are a lot of opportunities for teams who uh, have the skills to really excel. So I think uh, I, I think everybody will be able to perform in this game. I think uh, by with gracious professionalism and teams helping each other out, uh, I really think that this is a, a contest that everybody will compete well in, um, and the alliance selection is going to be very, very important in this game uh, because of uh, of the wide array of skills that are needed to actually complete it. It sounds like it's going to be a very fun year. I'm Nathan Lawrence, and we've just returned from the 2016 FRC kickoff. I just wanted to know what you thought about the game. It was pretty lit, fam. Oh, yeah? All right. And what do you think popular strategy out of all these teams is going to be? Uh, there's going to be a lot of shooting it, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just trying to get the ball in the hole. All right, so, so what do you think... Uh, like a setback is going to be something that's going to be really hard for teams to try and problem solve to beat. Uh, there's a lot of obstacles and it's a uh, big ball, small hole. Going to be tough. All right. Thank you for your time. Bradley, can we interview you? No. Oh. Okay.